So, is it okay for you that I record the final uh, <laughs> uh, feedback of you? Okay. <clears throat> so, we look at the results. <clears throat> so, this was uh, the here we have five responses we have the i have here the emails of you i have the names of you and uh, for the first question is the goal of the training reached we had uh, 40 percent good and 60 percent excellent uh, i can't cannot see from whom these uh, answers are here in this but uh, for the assessment of the training in general, as the Bewertung der Ausbildung, we had again 60% excellent and 40% good. Did you find that the online methods were appropriate? It's 60% uh, excellent and, no, 40% excellent and 60% good. The assessment of the Zoom session uh, was 60% good and 40%, so same answers. Was the time and written for the training appropriate? Uh, it was a little bit short, I know. <laughs> uh, so we have 80% good and 20% uh, of excellent. So most probably most of you would have needed a little bit more time for deepening the skills or competences. Have you been treated well during your training? I hope so. So 80% uh, say it's excellent and just 20% say it's good. Who was not well treated in this training? <laughs> no, please don't answer. This was just a. <laughs> Do you feel that your personal expectations are met? So 60% are excellent, 40% good. How do you evaluate the acquisition of new knowledge uh, or new skills? 60% uh, excellent, 40% good. How do you evaluate the atmosphere of the training and the quality of human relations? 60% uh, were excellent and 40% good. And the uh, evaluation of me, so in general assessment of the trainer, 80% excellent, 20% good. Same answer for the necessary competences. Same answer for if I was attentive. Same answer for the explanations of the trainer were clear. 20% uh, were said I'm I, not excellent, but good. Is the trainer a good pedagogue? Oh, thank you. So it's 100% excellent. This is nice. <laughs> and then you had some uh, responses. Uh, many thanks for the whole uh, education, Herbert, applause and thumbs up for all your trials and empathy. Uh, you have made it super. For me, it would have been better if I had been able to practice already with the different programs before the Zoom meeting. That would have been more efficient. Uh, the next answer is I felt since the beginner, then I felt since the beginner, then the course gave me a lot more than I expect. And this unit is a complete example. It is incredible how in a Stropel course, we learn how to do some marketing with our future job, how to create videos, use YouTube and a lot more. I think one more time that I that if I go back from when I decided to do the course, I definitely will do it again, something like that. And the last answer was interesting aspect of the course. I enjoyed the course, good means good. So as a trainer for this course, I would say this is a very good response for, for uh, the quality of our courses. There is no partly, no bad uh, response. <clears throat> there are some 40% some which I would focus on uh, because this is the... Uh, or especially this one, was the time and the rhythm for the training appropriate? So most probably I would think about this uh, if the time and if I could improve the time and rhythm in the future. The Zoom session, okay, I think this has to do a little bit also with Zoom. Uh, 
naturally some people like it better when it's uh, directly uh, in a training on a site and the same with the online methods but all the others are quite well so i have one remark to this uh, the thing is um, I think it depends a little bit on the personality of your participants as well. Like, uh, for example, me, I think if I, I could have rated you excellent for everything. Yeah, I could have done this, wouldn't be. No, so you probably don't have to go into things too much in this case. I would uh, probably go if there was this partly or in the comments something which you got a suggestion. But this inflation of very good and excellent uh, is something you cannot uh, <laughs> validate uh, higher than excellent. And like this uh, plastering course, this was really excellent and outstanding. And there is no measure to do this. So I think um, it depends whether uh, the personality of the persons are, uh, yeah, it, there, this is something to take an account. This is what I wanted to say. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah, so uh, I know also your uh, different responses. Um, uh, some just say, uh, I want to have this little extra in the future. So if something is better, then I have uh, still a space. Uh, this is what you said yeah, also for a better response. Yeah. Just, I, I want to say something. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, before you start, I don't. Okay. We make the final oral round now. Okay. And, uh, you can start as an A, you can start with your final oral round, but I uh, ask everybody of you, this was the written response, and I want that you say something as a final statement as well. Yeah, so I don't, please. Um, I'm very happy with the course, if the whole course, and of course, uh, there is some missing of face-to-face, uh, -face, of course. And in my case, I, I, I never met you for some, never met everyone. But unfortunately, but on the other side, is is I'm very happy because the situation of the, how it's going now, for example, I, maybe I could go to some trades on some, Training or something like that, or but I I just check and it's so many things to do when you come back when you is for me it was not not right. I prefer to to stay here and and maybe in the future I I go for the next uh, training sure and uh, just one tip uh, I think as I write there uh, I. I receive a lot more than I expect in this course. I expect uh, because I have a bad experience. I, I just if you if you if you um, if you can't choose money, for example, the price of the course. I remember when I started in my career as a chef here in the UK about ten years ago. I tried to do a course, and I spent four times more or no six times more than I expect in this course and I never received the um, what I received from the Strober course from the HBF. It's just a big a big difference yeah massive difference and I think um, I'm not sure why this course is no uh, more um, uh, popular. How is possible? How is possible? We need to do something. It's not. It's not right. We need to do something. It is it, incredible. Is how I'm the only English speaker in this course. How is possible? No, no. We need to do something because uh, uh, I don't know. Because if you when you go to 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 search for courses, yeah, you find courses, yeah, something. But this course is a lot, a lot, and a lot, and 
And the last unit, uh, this unit is, uh, is the clear ex example is you learning how to do marketing with you, what you're gonna do or, you know, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So next one is Pat, or we can also give the stick to somebody. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like this course. I, I just, uh, what I told before, I, um, I just finished a correspondent online course uh, with uh, building uh, biology. And if I compare this uh, with this course, this course is uh, of much more and better quality uh, pedagogical and and you know everything much better than than the course that I uh, did before here. So um, yeah, I'm I'm very very happy uh, about it. And and it's uh, like Aldo say, it's it's fantastic that uh, that it is possible now uh, that you can do a course uh, with with different people from different countries uh, at at once at one time. So. It's, it's great. Yeah. Thank you, Beth. Okay. <laughs> you want to give the stick to? Uh, oh, uh, the next one, uh, Jurika. Yeah, uh, the course also at the unit after was also for me very cool, because I use a lot of programs, but other people who are very complicated. And it was super for me to see that it's also Programme gibt, die viel einfacher sind und das gleiche können oder noch mehr. Und das werde ich sicher in Zukunft auch sehr viel verwenden dann. Besonders zum Film schneiden. Also das hat mich echt geplagt ab und zu mit After Effects, Katastrophe. Also das ist ja eine Milliarde Mal leichter einfach. Und genau. Ähm, ja, genau. Also ja, das war für mich war es eine, eine super Session die Woche. Yeah. And the stick goes. goes. What? The stick goes to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the stick gave it to Gudrun. Yeah. Um, uh, I can just say, yes, I really enjoyed the course and uh, I could, could continue. <laughs> Would be nice. Um, yes. What I probably, you see, you can always do something probably a bit better um, to give it even more the Sahne Tupfen on top um, would be for me personally. Um, this, uh, as we don't uh, come together that often personally, I uh, got, I did a course in the past where we met um, um, almost every Sunday and uh, for Zoom. And this was kind of connecting it. It was team building. And so we felt even more as a community. And that is something that can be voluntary, not part of the um, uh, itinerary, but sort of on addition. And this is uh, connecting and, uh, and all this. This is the only thing I would add. And otherwise, I think it's a great quest. Thank you, Gudrun. And you give the stick to Nisha. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about Unit 8. For me, it's difficult because everything is new. I'm not so an expert into computer programs. And I learned definitely a lot. And thank you for that. But of course, now it's the last time we meet in this course, I guess. So I want to also say something about the overall. And Herbert, I definitely have to say you are very super in explaining and do the ped pedagogical stuff. And I mean, this is a really, a, this makes the course so good. Yeah. Like how you present this is you get an applause and I get, I think you get it from everybody. This is very, very well done. And yeah. I mean, this is also really depending how you produce. I don't want to say the others of the trainers are bad they are not bad but i mean it's just how you present it and how you have the calmness and this was really really excellent i have to say and 
then also, I, I mean, now this course exists in Spain, yeah, and, and then also it depends on the trainer how they provide all this, yeah, and like how you do it. And of course, you have a yearly experience, but for me, this was university level. You also could put this course in this sense on in a university program, and it would also function. So very, very well done, and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are on the end, and uh, some of you we will meet uh, this afternoon, some uh, tomorrow in the afternoon, and some on Saturday, and some on the 19th of October. And um, <laughs> I don't just one, one, one second, have it next time. Just uh, try to, to add a, an application to translate directly what they when you're talking in, in, in German, you know? Yes. <laughs> Let's find an application to, and directly, you know, <laughs> the button, I can read what you do. <laughs> Better the subtitles. And, okay. and one more thing, can we do this course in, in, in South America later on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you make the translation to Spanish, yes. <laughs> and the practical parts, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the practical, practical part there uh, for sure uh, there is Aldo there who can do this practical part as a trainer <laughs> and, and invite all of you yeah. there you know <laughs> where, where is it exactly in South America in Brazil in, in Uruguay I'm in Uruguay, Uruguay. okay yeah. Do you have their straw buildings in, in the hot tropics? No, no, no. This is why I, I plan to do the first one there. There is okay. another techniques, but no straw. Should be nice. OK. <laughs> but Uruguay is not in the tropics. No, no, you see, no, you see, it's, it's template. It's south, it's the same climate yeah, as we have. No, no. A little bit less snow. I have been there, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we drink mate. You see that I drink every day, yeah? <laughs> so, last word. Um, <clears throat> thank you for the feedbacks uh, um, and uh, also the, <laughs> the nice responses for the whole course. Um, just as a reminder, uh, as you, uh, all those units you made, you can make as often as you want without paying extra yeah so if you think that you want to repeat communication course next year which will most probably a little bit different or whatever any kind of the courses you made you can just uh, tell me and then you are invited to the next uh, course so you can do this uh, theoretically the, your whole life long but most probably your whole life long is longer than mine <laughs> as long as it exists <laughs> yeah but uh, the the next uh, zoom meeting from uh, unit uh, one is somewhere in march next most year? probably yes yeah. so yeah. in uh, the first week of october we will define all the uh, dates uh, uh, oh, yeah. for, for the next courses um there are also some other Dutch, three other Dutch participants waiting for these uh, dates. Uh, and because Mike uh, spoke a lot, uh, a lot about this course. And um, so it could happen as soon as we have five people, we can start the next uh, course. Yeah, So it can also be earlier. Uh, okay. We'll see. But we will agree with you. So then uh, it will be in Dutch then. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to learn Dutch before, yes. <laughs> so I speak German and you speak Dutch then. <laughs> okay, thank you all for joining and we meet uh, again at the final assessment or the preparation for. Or next week so, uh, with the bye practical bye, workshop. Maybe the practical you. workshop on Monday. Bye, La Pampa in Uruguay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Christine. everybody. Nice meeting you. Alles Gute, no? Speak to the other guys yeah. who see us. It was a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Ciao. Okay, bye-bye. Ciao. Bye. -bye. Ciao.